Hello everyone. Uh, video tonight from the Great Edge Workshop about setting knife angles. Uh, and there's a few different ways that we can approach this. It's a fundamental thing to get comf comfortable with if you're going to be using a, a Tormac T8 or certainly if you're going to take maximum advantage of your Tormac T8. Uh, yeah, a few different ways that we can approach angle setting. First one uh, that we that we should discuss is using the Tormac uh, WM200 which comes with with the T8. I assume it comes with uh, all the all the main versions of, um, of of whetstone sharpening that Tormac produces, aside from I think uh, some of the newer ones, the T1, the T2 have fixed uh, fixed angle guides, but certainly T7, T8, you're going to be using something like the WM200. Uh, Along with that, uh, you get this excellent sharpening guide. Mine's uh, it's it's quite a worn copy now. Uh, it, it comes with your Tormac, an incredible reference with all sorts of details of all the jigs, some general principles of sharpening. Uh, I don't think it's available as a, as a download. I think you have to get this. Uh, well, I think it's available as a download from Tormac, but only if you buy a machine. You can't just download this off their website. And I'm not surprised because because it, it is an amazing resource. But on my edition, uh, granted quite a few years old now, uh, on page 142, there's quite good detail, uh, including, some, including some images on how to use uh, the WM200. It's pretty good. I would say, if we're going to talk about uh, angle setting, uh, the, the the most basic thing that you can do uh, is with a sharpie mark the edge and then sharpen uh, set set your sharpening um, angles in a way that you remove the sharpie and then you know that you're you're at least matching the angle that's on the on the knife. But that's not really angle setting. That's more angle matching. In other words, you're replicating what the knife already has, but you don't necessarily know what what angle is is on that knife or on that tool. With WM200, then you have the possibility to uh, choose choose an angle uh, and and set it accordingly. It works uh, in a, in a fairly simple way, a fairly intuitive way, I think, from 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 looking at it. But uh, it does require a bit of practice to get uh, to, to get fairly good at it, and uh, it does require more than just this tool because one of the things that's going to influence your sharpening angle is the is the height between the the support bar the universal support bar and your stone and if you're sharpening with the SG250 as I have set up here then that stone over time is going to wear and therefore the distance even if all things were fixed the distance between the USB and the and the sharpening wheel is going to is going to change to put it another way because you know the diameter of of this is is changing not necessarily from day to day unless you're sharpening very intensively but oh you know from one month to the next the diameter of your SG250 is going to be shrinking that means that you need to be adjusting your USB differently uh, in order to in order to have the correct distance between here here and there the WM200 deals with that by having a setting where you can adjust the, uh, the for the diameter of your sharpening stone it doesn't have to be this one it could be any sharpening stone that you're using but you adjust for the, the diameter the T8 comes with, uh, I'm not sure whether the camera will pick it up if I um, rotate the machine slightly here and actually I'm going to temporarily remove the frontal vertical base. We will come back to that slightly later. Um, it does come with a scale here but uh, that can give an indication of the di diameter of your stone, but I find it quite imprecise, quite hard, quite hard to gauge. Um, more reliable, the technique that I prefer to use uh, is is with a set of uh, a set of calipers, and you can, in that in that way, uh, get a very accurate reading. Uh, in my case, I think I'm uh, 243.3 uh, millimeters, 243.4 millimeters, uh, and I can then set that on the on the WM200. Now this is where some of its limitation comes in because uh, it's very hard to, to set, you can see the scale on there, very hard to set 243 mill millimeters, let alone any sort of uh, sub degree, uh, sub millimeter thereof, so point, point 0.3, I mean it's, it's impossible to do that. Uh, so that, that's one limitation of this. Um, but you need to know you need to know the diameter of your sharpening wheel and then once you've got that set just by uh, loosening and rotating this around and then locking it back in place. Then you set your desired sharpening angle by loosening off and moving this pointer 
to to the angle that you want uh, and it's it's quite a long range uh, it's from 10 degrees up to 75 so you're talking about chef's knives all the way up to um uh well i guess certain woodworking tools um, or a 75 degree angle is is, is quite rare uh, in my case well, actually i'm going to adjust this as best i can to around 243 wheel diameter and the knife that I have here is sharpened to 15 degrees. Uh, I, I know that because of some other sharpening that I've, that I've already done. So I've, I've deliberately put and checked a 15 degree edge angle, 15 degrees per side, I should clarify, uh, on this knife. Setting 243 on here as best I can and setting 15 degrees as, as best I can on here. Then from the side, what you want to be looking for, and I'm not sure whether I'll be able to show this with the with the camera, but you want to look to have one corner of the 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 the, the base of the WM250 touching the stone, and the other corner just touching the uh, face of your of your knife. Hopefully, the camera is showing that uh, clearly enough for you. If it's not, uh, then you can either adjust your, your knife angle but if you're fixed on the the angle let's say you, de you definitely want a 15 degree sharpening then you adjust the height of your universal support bar either by just loosening it and lifting it up or using the fine adjust threaded tool uh, i'll post a picture of that for those of you that, that um, don't have a tormac and aren't, aren't sure what i'm talking about um, so you, you adjust the, the, the macro or the fine thread to get the height that you want so that you have those two contact points. Uh, so that the point uh, on, the, on the left or on the inside of the WM200 is, is touching the, the stone and on the right it's just touching the, the face of, of your knife. And you want this heel as close as possible to the, to the apex of, of your edge. You can't always get it right up against it. Uh, but you want to be you want to be as close as possible and the, the book shows some pictures of more closely some cartoons of, of how you would set that up It's pretty good, but as I said because you are limited on how accurately you can report the diameter here Even to a certain extent how accurately you can you know position the needle to the sharpening angle that you want You're never going to get exactly exactly the edge angle uh, that, that you're after but it's gonna it's gonna be pretty close if uh, if your only other alternative was was freehand or some other uh, some other approximation you're gonna get much closer to your target angle by using the WM200 than 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 anything else the other way that uh, sharpening angles can be set is using some sort of uh, software and actually accurately controlling uh, the diameter of the stone the height of your USB and also this projection distance. Uh, I, what I call the projection distance is the distance from the underside of this of the support rest here to the apex of, of the edge. So in my case, that distance that I'm indicating with my hands there, I know to be 140 millimeters. And with uh, software, so I've got a laptop set up behind me here with uh, a, a program open that I bought from Knife Grinders. Um, and for those of you that know the story, sadly, uh, Adam Krychuk, the owner of Knife Grinders, passed away. Um, and so he's no longer producing or re releasing these products. He was a one-man operation, absolute genius when it comes to sharpening, but a one-man operation. So I don't think this software is available anymore from the, from the website, but there are alternatives that people have developed. I this this one works extremely well for me so i haven't dug into those alternatives but i have read and, and heard from people that alternatives are just as good in some cases even better uh, but i'm going to uh, cut to a screen capture of that uh, of the software and talk you through with a voiceover the various parameters that you would input there okay right so here we are having a look at the grinding angle setter for Tormac. Uh, this is the software that, as I mentioned, I got from uh, Knife Grinders in Australia. So uh, basically how it works, uh, down the, down the left-hand side, we've got your settings uh, for which machine you've got. Uh, T8, T7, T4, Super Grind 2000, those are, those are the options. Um, then some measurements that you take, uh, well, measurements that you take and or desired values that you're after. So enter the grinding wheel diameter in millimeters, that's 
the measurement that I, sh that I showed earlier, so the diameter uh, of your SG250. If you are using CBN or other types of wheels that don't wear, then the number that you've got uh, stays fixed in that, in that, in that box. Uh, next one down, distance between the knife jig adjustable stop and the knife edge in millimeters. Uh, I will link up a, a, a photo of showing that, that distance, but basically, as, as it says, it's from the, from the adjustable stop to the very uh, far edge, for, to the apex of the knife edge. Uh, and in the case of the setup I'm using today, that's a, measured as 140 millimeters. Target grinding angle, I'm using 15. And then blade thickness behind the edge. I will uh, again here is a, here is a photo uh, showing how that measurement is taken. Uh, this is <laughs> well. Con I was about to say this is a controversial point of this software um, storm in a teacup, but it is apparently a, a weak point of this this software. This the way the calculations are done for blade thickness behind the edge. But uh, to be honest, uh, maybe I'm not sensitive enough <laughs> to to notice. This the, the everything just seems to work, and then uh, what comes out at the end is is the number in blue there, uh, showing one sixty six point nine seven. That is the height that we would set the universal support uh, above the, the the frame of the Tormek. So um, that's the one hundred forty millimeters that I had that I'd measured uh, earlier, and the one sixty six point nine seven is going to be from the top of this bar. Down to the frame of the uh, of the Tormac. Okay, so having taken the those those measurements and inputting them into the software, uh, out comes the answer of one sixty six point nine seven, as I mentioned, and I've set the USB height uh, to that to that point. Now I now I've got a knife ready to sharpen. Uh, switch on the switch on the Tormac uh, and. Away we go. Now this isn't a sharpening video; it's an angle setting video. So we're gonna get uh, one pass on each side, and then move on. But that's the that's the basic principle. There's a little bit of. Uh, I'd, I'd put a little bit of Sharpie on the edge uh, to, to show that the angle is set correctly. Missing actually a before shot, so you may just have to take my word for it. <laughs> um, so that's that. Now I know from my goniometer, using my goniometer, I've, and I've shown this in, in, in previous videos, I'll show a photo, uh, a screenshot of, of it in action. Uh, here, that using the angle setting software, I get the result that I'm expecting. So in this case, I know that this knife is is at 15 degrees. Uh, I get pretty close using the WM200. As I mentioned, the the imperfections of it come just from the resolution here. That it's it's hard to get exactly 243 millimeters on the the, the wheel diameter, and to get exactly 15 degrees. Uh, on, on that, but if you can see, uh, I mean, the needle is pretty close to to, to 15, and it fits it, it fits in the way I expect uh, looking at it in, in in position. So, two two fairly fairly compatible methods. Um, I I prefer and use especially once you're set up and running. You know, I've spent a long time talking about how to use the the, the controlled angled software, but in practice. Uh, you you put your knife in the jig, you measure it, that you, you you measure the projection distance, you input the figures that you want, set the bar height, and, and away you go. So it's so it's very quick, and an extension of that, uh, a con continuation of controlled angle sharpening, as I've just shown here, is controlled angle honing, and that's done with the with the frontal vertical base uh, that I had in in place at the start of the video. Uh, so if I if I Plug that in. This isn't this isn't set uh, to any particular um, any any particular sharpening angle, but the principle of it is exactly the same. So, you you input the the wheel diameter. In the case of I'm just gonna spin this around so you have a slightly better view, even though it's not a natural sharpening position. You input the wheel diameter of your leather wheel or whatever you're you're honing with. Could be could be rock hard felt. 
uh, input, the you know projection edge angle that, that you're working to, etc. The software will spit out a height, and then by by setting that, take that away. By by setting that, you're doing uh, edge trailing con controlled angle honing. So a really nice, really nice companion, and one of the reasons why you can get such fine and sharp. Uh, edges with, with the Tormac because you're sharpening at a very precise angle, uh, water cooled of course, which is which is lovely, but then honing at a, at a controlled angle as well. Uh, I, I could go through that, I, I wasn't intending to, and I'm, and I'm not going to go through the process for setting up honing because it is very similar, very analogous to, to the setup for the, the, the sharpening, but if, if anyone is interested, uh, wants to see that, that set up that process, um, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to make a, happy to make a follow-up video. <clears throat> so, uh, there we go. Those are the, those are the essentials for how to set an angle on your, on your Tormac. Uh, of course, the, the, the most basic, uh, just, just as a recap, the, the most basic method is not actually angle setting, but angle matching using Sharpie, uh, on, on the edge and then setting uh, up and down your USB until you find the right angle that takes the Sharpie cleanly off all the, all the way to the apex. Probably the most, uh, uh, well, the, the method that everybody that owns Tormac has access to is using the WM200 uh, because, it, because, it, because it comes with the machine with the limitations that we've discussed a, a few times now. The other thing uh, just to mention uh, is it has these preset guides along the along the top and, and across the side. So, as a sort of let's say companion <laughs> to the to, to the Sharpie method, if you have a knife and you're not sure exactly what the edge is, you can pop it into the, push it into these guides. Uh, I, I find it a little bit uh, imprecise to get it to get to get a good fit. So I know that it's it's snuggest in the 15 degree uh, angle because that's what this knife actually is, but if I didn't know that, could I be sure? Um, it's it's you know it's 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 a, the best fit in the fifteen, but it's not a best fit in the absolute sense. If you if you follow what I mean, but it'll get you um, it'll it'll get you close. Uh, so there's that. Uh, that's the WM two hundred method, and then for more precise, uh, if you know if if fifteen is important to you and you mean fifteen degrees per side. Then I highly re recommend the, the controlled angle sharpening using the software. Uh, you do need to get yourself a good uh, caliper that can measure uh, measure fractions of a millimeter. I find the digital one easiest to work with, but it's by by all means not the only solution. Um, and and then away you go. Okay, good. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. hope you found it useful. Uh, if there's anything missing, anything that I've overlooked, please do let me know in, in the comments. I will link in the description, uh, if I can find it, the a web, an excellent web reference, reference that I found that has other examples of software that can be used for controlled angled sharpening. They don't all work in the same way. Sometimes there's a, a different measurement from here down to the edge of the stone, etc. Et some of them are even free. Some of them you pay for, some of them are free. Uh, but I have it on, on good authority that all are fairly reliable. It's a matter of finding one that, that works for you that's um, compatible either uh, with your way of working, with your way of thinking, uh, with the, the computer that you happen to be running or, or tablet, phone, etc. that you're trying to run it on. Um, but highly recommended, uh, highly recommend if you're, if you're serious about, about sharpening with the Tormac uh, to spend a bit of time investigating the, um, the, the controlled angle methods. Anyway, uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching if you've made it this far. Uh, if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe. It means a lot and helps the channel very much. And see you again soon. Bye for now.